Bienvenidos. Saludos a todos. Peace to all. This is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. And this is the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? And this is a follow up to They Will Know You By Your Name, Slaves, Conquistadors, and Nobles. I just want to share some of the positive feedback for that video. Big shout out to Will R. Karma Moves Retrogrades. Uh, check her out. She has a great channel. Carrie Espinoza, thank you for your feedback. Riz Moite, thank you for your uh, support and sharing some of these videos. And of course, we have Jesus himself giving you a thumbs up. You know, if you get good feedback from Jesus, you know, you're on the right track. And big shout out to King Macho the First for showing some love. And also want to point out one particular comment from a viewer, uh, Lente. Thank you for your feedback. You want to read what the comment said. It says, the surname Perez is in the Bible. Perez in Hebrew means breach or burst forth. The surname Garcia is said to come from the descendants of King David who migrated to Spain from Babylon. If you look up at old maps, Naples, Southern Italy, Sicily, and Sardinia were considered to be Spain. And Lente is absolutely right about that. Hispania definitely covered a large landmass. It covered most of the Mediterranean, going into North Africa, going into Egypt, into the Middle East, and most of Europe, Southern Europe. And Perez is definitely in the Bible and is one of the sons of Judah, Perez. So thank you for that comment, that feedback, much appreciated. And that goes into what we're gonna talk about today, the, the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? The people of the book is an Islamic term which refers to Christians, Jews, Sabians, and Zoroastrians, all of whom are mentioned in the Quran. The term is also used in Judaism to refer to the Jewish people and by members of some Christian denominations to refer to themselves. I'm in the Holy Quran, chapter 22, titled The Pilgrimage, verse 17. It says, to those who believe and those who are Jewish and Sabians and Christians and Zoroastrians and polytheists, Allah will judge between them and the day of resurrection. Allah is witness to all things. The Ashanim of Muhammad, a treaty between Muslims and Christians was recorded uh, between Muhammad and St. Catherine Monastery, which is depicted in this icon painting by Lokabas Moscos in the 18th century. Here's a copy of the patent of Muhammad granted to the Holy Monastery of Sinai Muhammad. So here you can see a depiction of some kind of meeting going on between Christians and Muslims and here we have the actual copy of that treaty. This goes hand in hand with the times the Moors were entering Spain because these were times Muslims were interacting with Christians and there were certain treaties going on during these times. Muslim men and the Dahama. The term people of the book was also used towards Hindus under Muslim rule. The Muslim Moors of the old Silk Road of Asia created what was called a Dahima contract which permits marriage of Muslim men to women who are people of the book. The Moors of Spain, a 13th century illustration from the Libros de los Juegos depicting Jews playing chess, which was also a common Moorish practice. So this was something that was common in Moorish Spain. And as covered in previous episodes, the Sephardic Jews of Spain and Portugal were also part of the elite, during which time the Moors were putting this particular group in a protective status and actually protecting them. The Moors in Spain created this environment in which the Sephardic Jews can thrive. The age of prosperity in Spain had declined after the Moors and Jews were driven out of Iberia in 1492. What does all this have to do with Hispaniola and Latin America as a whole? To answer this, let's revisit the list of common surnames of old Spain in comparison with the common surnames of the Dominican Republic today. As concluded on the previous videos, the two lists are similar. Is there a connection between these surnames and the Jews and Christians of old Spain? Was there an early Sephardic presence in Hispaniola? The first Jews and Moranos on the north coast of Hispaniola. The American Jewish Archives, Sephardim in the Americas by Martin A. Cohen and page 155. Under Spanish rule, Moranos were to be found of the northern coast at Isabella. Despite France black code prohibiting Jewish settlement, there are indications of Jews doing business with almost every port on the island 
during the 17th and 18th century. Just to be sure, what does the word Murano mean? It says here, Murano in medieval Spain, a Christianized Jew or more, especially one who merely professed conversion in order to avoid persecution. So Muranos were Christianized Jews or Moors. And we know these were the people historically in Spain who would have been called the people of the book. Here we in the law firm, Cohen, Decker, Pex, and Brosh. Law firms are offering services to those who are looking to reconnect with those connections back in Spain. It says here, Jewish family names of Spanish, Portuguese origin in North and South America. It says here, we have compiled for you a list of about 50 common Jewish surnames in the Americas. Among Jews who arrived in South America in the early years following the European discovery of the continent, most of those who had surnames that could be distinguished as having Eastern roots traceable back to the Muslim Golden Age in Spain. See, this is the list here. We have some names there are very recognizable names in Latin America and in the Dominican Republic. We have names like Lopez, Suarez, of course, Rodriguez, Calderon, Enriquez, Mendez, Leon, De Sola, Nunez, Rivera. Like I said, the vast majority of them are very recognizable. Providing another source here, more names provided by Henry J. Tobias in 1992. This is an author, scholar, historian who actually specializes in this history here. According to Tobias, the Inquisition finally officially ended in 1992, a total of 500 years since it began. So once again, here's a list of names I stated earlier. In terms of the common surnames of the Dominican Republic, common surnames of old Spain, some of them do match up. I hope you got some good information from this video regarding the surnames and people who are attributed of being the people of the book, whether it be from a religious standpoint or from a historical standpoint in dealing with the Moorish legacy in Spain and also the Sephardic Jewish legacy in old Spain. This is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. Good night. Peace. Dímelo. Oh yeah, this is the Hispaniola History Channel. La Historia de Hispaniola, presented by David Rodriguez.